Some more news now. And in Victoria, all eyes will be on the state seat of Melbourne tomorrow with a by-election shaping up as a close contest between Labor and the Greens. Experts say federal Labor's woes could mean a win for the minor party. Adam Band is a man who's no stranger to big upsets. Adam, what will it mean if you guys win? Well, it's going to be a pretty close election. It'll go down to the wire. But if we win, we'll have Cathy Oak, a fresh new voice in the middle of Parliament, pushing for the changes that we need to keep Melbourne liveable, like building proper public transport so you don't need a car to get in and out of the city, and having trams that run till 2am so that people can get home after a big night out and there's less violence on the streets. Come on, Adam, let's be serious. It'll change nothing. I mean, if, if the Greens win this, then the Bayou government goes ahead pretty much uninterrupted anyway. There'll be another election at the general election and the result will change because the Liberal Party will direct preferences to the Labor Party. This is all just a bit of fun for us in the media, isn't it? No, it'll make a huge difference because the old parties just aren't talking about the big issues anymore and we'll have someone in state parliament who will. I've been one Greens member in the lower house of parliament federally and we've got $13 billion for clean and renewable energy. Uh, we've got dental getting into Medicare and high-speed rail's a step closer to becoming a reality. If you're one person in parliament with the right ideas and prepared to work cooperatively with others, you can achieve a lot. Adam, despite the fact that the Libs aren't even fielding a candidate, is there some way that we can make this election a referendum on the carbon tax? Oh, look, I'm, I'm sure if you went out tonight in Melbourne and went to a club and failed to pick up, I'm sure Tony Abbott would be able to say that's the fault of the carbon tax as well. <laughs> but look, seriously, Cathy Oak's been putting forward a, a plan to repower Melbourne with um, renewable energy and it's visions like that that are going to keep Melbourne as one of the most liveable cities in the world. Alright, good on you Adam. Thanks for your time tonight. Thanks a lot.